Welcome everybody. In this episode, I'm going to share with you my stock photography earnings for January of 2024. Now for you longtime viewers of the channel, you know how important it is for me to keep track of my stock photography earnings because that is what fuels my travel addiction. So if you like travel, if you like photography, give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Before we jump into numbers, I just want to let my longtime viewers know that I'm actually going to start posting in May at 5 p.m. Arizona time instead of 8 a.m. on Sundays. Truth be told, on a Sunday morning, I would rather be out in the field doing photography than sitting behind a computer, so that's why I'm moving it back into the evening hours. So let's take a look at some of our top performers from this past month. We're starting off with a $3.09 commission from Adobe Stock. Now this is of my backyard. Now something to think about when you're gonna be doing nighttime photography, think about water. You're working with very little light when you're working at night. So anything you can do to bring in more light is really gonna help things out. Now take a look here at the pavers. You're gonna see that I wet them down before I took this photo. Now what that does is that allows more light to reflect it off the ground, gets more light into your camera and really brightens up the image. Next up from Getty Images, I received a commission of $14.18 for this blue hour photo from the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Now the blue hour is a pretty good time to shoot. You may know about the golden hour. That's an hour, uh, an hour before sunset or an hour after sunrise. But the blue hour, during the blue hour, you're still able to get the details of uh, of whatever is around you you're able to take advantage of illumination and of course your sky is not going to be plain pitch black so the blue hour is another great time to take photos this next photo is from dreams time 13 dollars on dreams time now this is a photo taken a sleepy hollow farm in vermont now obviously i was up there during the fall, I was just a little bit, maybe a week before peak when I got there for this photo. But it was a bright, beautiful, sunny day out there. It's gorgeous. Anyhow, this is the closest you can get because it is private property. So, you know, respect the owners and don't cross through the fence. But this is also a very famous location for a lot of photographers. So I was really happy that whomever was looking at these photos selected mine amongst all the others up on Dreams Time of the exact same location. I also had a few videos sell this month. Now for this year, I'm putting a greater focus on uploading video content simply because the higher commissions is worth the greater effort. So let's take a look at this first one. This $2.49 commission video was on Getty Images. Now this is just simply the camera mounted inside of the cabin of my Jeep facing over the hood as I'm driving through a canyon in Idaho. Let me tell you guys something. Idaho is beautiful. I can't wait to go back. This next video I know you've seen before. This is Times Square in New York City. I received $2.80 commission from Adobe stock. Now I did this one blurred out because of all the corporate branding. Now, because I did this, I can sell it as royalties free. However, if I brought it in the focus, then I would sell it as editorial. And I think next time I'm back there, I'm going to try doing it as an editorial. So what did the numbers come out to? Well, for the agencies that I no longer upload to, they're still selling, and I received from those agencies 93 sales and $40.65. From Getty Images, I sold 36 assets and got $32.89. And from Adobe Stock, I sold 127 assets and received a commission of $108.07. Now, I've been asked how many assets do I have up at these agencies? Well, Adobe is the one one that I get the most commissions from and I have somewhere just over 7,000 assets up on Adobe stock right now. I hope this inspires you to keep catching the world through the lens of your camera and I hope to see all of you back here next week. Take care.